Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. In this video, I'm going to break down the two best plays to run in the red zone right now. One of them is going to beat man, one of them is going to beat zone. And also have some ways of beating man, but there are two great plays just in general. Now, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. It would help me out so much. Let's get into the tip now. now. If you guys don't know yet, I'm running the bunch out of the Indianapolis Colts playbook. And on further note, I have an ebook out on this on jtips.net. Link to that is in the description if you want to get the full breakdown. This is going to be real juicy though, so stick tuned. Uh, so stay, stay tuned, my bad. Big return is going to be the play on offense. On defense, I'm just going to come out in a random 3 3 5 wide. Let's just call, cover three for once because this is a cover three beater. Then I'm going to move the ball into the red zone and let's do it right about here. And there are two reads on this play that you really want to look for. And. It's very simple to adjust it. You only want to put your solar receiver on a smoke screen. Now, once we have that set up, the play looks like this. And then what all we have to do is we're gonna snap the ball. If we read cover three, we can throw it to circle right here. And this is a nice and easy play. Now you can rack catch that if you want to, but right there in that position, I possession caught it. Then you can just run a full back dive with George Kittle at the tight end position and truck into the end zone. If we wait a little bit longer though, after the snap of the ball, we have a chance to make the read between the smoke screen just right there. If we see that nothing is open, we can always check down to that. And if we wait really long, if we just if we get a lot of time, we can wait. Oh my God, we don't get that time. Yeah, no, that was we don't get the time. We can wait for the out route or the the in route to get open across uh, along the side. Let me do that again. Let me just try to get as much protection as possible. And now you can see how we can just throw that with the pass lead to the sideline possession catch it. I don't know why zones just don't play to the sideline this year it's really weird one more time just to revisit it this is going to be the setup you just wait 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 and then you throw it at the perfect time just like that into the end zone for a score now while this play is not ideal against man coverage you still have some chances i'm going to snap the ball right here and you can see the zig wins and also the in route wins just got to be careful with throwing that because it can get baited by user because they're both routes that are kind of in the middle of the field so once again cover two just like that you will see the sig does get a little bit of separation but the in route is also a very nice route against man coverage now that's all for big return let's now talk about smash return this is a very similar rock route but it goes a little bit differently and i want to show you how cool this actually is so we're gonna run cover two man once again and the main route on this is just going to be lazard that's basically it so what i like to do personally is i like to put our tight end on a drag and because i have a slot apprentice in the rental cop spot I'm going to put this guy on a corner route. Then I'm going to motion snap Lazard to the outside just like that. And you can see how we get some really, really nice separation right there. And we can throw that with a pass lead inside. Now, there are obviously some other reads on this. This is, however, only good against main coverage. Pretty much only. There are some other instances in which you can get open. But this is mainly a play targeted to beat man coverage. As we can see, the tight end. Bobby Tane is not even that fast, but he gets separation against the linebacker on a drag. One more time, gonna do this. You don't, you don't even have to motion snap to the outside. I just like it that way a little bit more. You can see, totally with the pass lead up the field, and we can see how we can get, get that step towards the end zone, and we get a nice score. Final read on this play is going to be the deep in route. We can see how that also can beat man coverage just like that. Just gotta be careful because that is a cover two, and the zone kind of drifts to the middle of the field. So, it's not ideal. Gonna run that same thing again. And we're gonna just wait, 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 wait. And you can see how the zones just dumb out. And we can throw that in route a little bit later than you probably expected it for us to throw it. But it can be thrown, it's there. However, the main focus of this play is this return route from circle. And it's it's just so beautiful at beating man coverage. It's so simple. It's so beautiful. Now we're at the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. And if you have any questions, of course, let me know in the comments. You can also let me know in the comments whether you like this type of content. I think this is really instructional because when you think about it, most games are won and lost in the red zone. So when you have consistent ways of scoring, that'll make it a lot easier for you to close out games and just to get that edge over your opponent because Guess what? If they don't watch this video, they're not going to be able to score in the red zone. But you now have the tools to be an effective red zone passer. And with all that being said, I'm done for today. I'm out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Till next time, goodbye guys. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. It would support me so much. Goodbye guys.